this Katie Bell Physiotherapy and Wellness Express session. In this session, we are going to be looking at stretch, release, relax, and resetting our body. So this is a perfect, quick, but effective go-to if you just feel like your body needs rebooting, you're feeling tense, you're feeling tight, or maybe you just feel like you need your body refreshing. As you see, I've got absolutely no equipment with me. I've just got my mat space. I have got a towel with me um, in place of a head block, but you could use a yoga block or a cushion if you prefer at home. So first of all, we're gonna come down into lying. So coming onto your mat space, making yourself comfortable, adjusting any clothing that might be in your way. I want you just to allow yourself just to soften into the mat. So relaxing the hands down, making a conscious awareness of the contact of your head, your shoulders, your pelvis, your feet, and your arms into the floor. And allow your breath just to settle, becoming aware of that breath coming in and out of the body. We're just going to use our breath just to gauge our energy levels and our mood. So just checking in with your body. How energised are you feeling? Are you tipping the balance into a little bit of manic or busy sort of mentality? Or do you feel sluggish? Do you feel like your body just won't rev up no matter how much you want it to? Just being aware of where you're at right now. Imagine it on a continuum from really revved up and unable to relax and fidgety all the way down to a super fatigued. I want you to imagine it like a set of scales. Imagine it tipping in one direction or the other. Now we're going to go through this entire practice, just remembering where our body is at. And just like a set of scales, we're going to see if we can balance our bodies to the centre. Bringing energised movement in and calming movement in at the same time to allow our body to come into just a happy, harmonised, energised state. So when you feel ready to, I want you to take both knees in towards your chest either holding around the shins or around the back of the thighs. I want you to start by breathing out and drawing the knees towards you. And then breathing in and allowing the knees to soften away. And again, exhale, draw them in. Inhale away. Just allowing as you do this, for your lower back and pelvis to gently open and stretch, creating just a light amount of pressure as the legs meet the body and soften and let go again. Lovely, the last two. From here, I want you to draw your body forward, reaching down either to the backs of the thighs or to the ankles, and draw yourself into a ball, hugging and connecting in, rounding your forehead towards your knees, curling the spine if that feels appropriate for you. Breathing into the back of the body. Feel the closeness of your legs, Feel your spine rounding, feel your core connecting and holding you here. And then on your next out breath, release the head down. Let your legs slide one at a time all the way down into the mat and let your arms relax out into a low V. Imagine yourself uncurling and smoothing yourself out onto the floor. Again, imagine the breath running through the body as you do this. Soft and open. We're going to do that one more time through. So in your own time, slide one leg in at a time, drawing the knees towards the chest, curling the body towards it, holding onto the feet or the back of the thighs. If it feels too much, bring your head up. Just bring the legs in close towards you. But create that sense of curling, connecting, holding. Use it with a supportive activation in your core. Tucking the chin and the knees towards each other. Curling yourself into this energised ball. 
and then in the next out breath, exhale, imagine your whole body exhaling one leg at a time, slides out, arms curl out along the floor, and allow a soft openness, imagining yourself uncurling and peeling open, allowing softness into the jaw, the back and the pelvis. We're going to allow our arms just to rest by our side and bring our feet in to a wide stance on either side of the mat. We're going to allow the knees to roll left and right for our hip spirals. You'll feel as you roll the knees to the side, one leg is twisting in and one leg is twisting out. I want you to allow yourself just to take this in a soft, steady pace. Again, just thinking about which end of the scale were you on, which way were your scales tipped. Do you feel a little bit more manic and actually you need to use a softness to your movement to slow you down? Or do you want to allow that rhythmical flow to bring your energy up? Again, tuning in to what you might need out of this time on your mat. Next time your knees fold over to the left hand side, I want you to stay there and bring your arms into a cactus sign. So arms open at 90 degrees. You might even like to take a full crucifix if that feels better for you. Knees swaying to the left hand side. I want you to take your breath down into your right hip. So imagine your breath kind of coming down and filling the whole side of your pelvis and your hip. Sending the breath deep down. Now you can either stay as you are, or if you want to deepen the stretch, I want you to lift your left foot off the mat Place it on the outside of the right knee, drawing the knee across. If that doesn't suit you, or even this open knee position doesn't suit you, just come back to centre, bring your knees together and roll both knees to the left hand side instead. So you've got a connected knee position, you've got an open knee position, or you've got an overstretch. This might suit you in terms of different joint or musculoskeletal issues, or just which end of the scale you're tipping in your practice. Last breath down into that right hip. And when you're ready, returning your feet to the mat, rolling the knees over to the right hand side, holding it there now. Allow yourself to melt into that. Tuning in to decide whether you need to keep your knees together or can you keep them apart in this hip spiral. breathing into the left side of the pelvis and if you want to placing the right foot on the left knee creating an openness and stretch to the pelvis again try and stay relaxing the chest and the ribs and breathe down into the left hip now and one more breath cycle there creating that nice depth of openness and then when you're ready, arm across those legs, bring those legs back to centre. Take your hold of the knees, just gently stir the knees round the pelvis, rolling through and massaging out the lower back. You might like to change direction, rolling the second side. In your own time, I want you to come and roll over onto your side, facing towards me. You can roll and prop your cushion to support your head and your arms are going to come out in front. We're going to take our bow and arrow. So I'm going to slide my hand to my heart. I'm going to rotate and look behind me and then return. Make sure your cushion feels really supportive so when you roll, you don't feel like you're dropping off the back of it. So slide your hand to your heart, rotate and return. And again, exhale, rotate and return. Nice smooth movement. Allowing yourself just to gently roll through the upper back and return. So I want you to try and keep your knees together and settle down, not letting yourself roll or twist through the hips. Now on this next one, we're going to hold it here. Keep the knees together, keep the lower back in neutral, and just allow yourself to twist and open through the collarbone. You might like to extend your arm away from you up on the diagonal creating a little bit more reach. But I generally find keeping the hand on the heart means that you really isolate the stretch to the upper back. 
one more breath cycle here. And when you're ready, we're going to return to the center and prop ourselves up on our arm. We're going to do a similar version of what we just did, but I want to make sure you're lifting out your shoulders, arm is coming in front of you. We're going to reach up and around, opening our chest, and then bring the hand back down in front of you. I still want you to think about this movement coming here from the chest again, this lovely twisting action. So my hand is following my chest movement, not just dropping behind me. And then we'll rotate back through again. And I just have to turn to look towards the mat. So we rotate, open up high, lifting out of this supporting shoulder, and then rotating back down again. Lovely. Breath in at the top here. And back down. So we're opening up the chest, opening up that line across the collarbones and the heart. And again, I want you to think about at the top as you breathe in, what are you trying to draw in? Are you trying to calm the system? Or are you trying to energize the system? And I want you to imagine drawing that through those fingertips of that breath. Last one here. Keep the both knees together, hips still. And we start. Okay, I need you to push yourself up into sitting. As I am sitting, my top leg is going to go behind me, so I'm in this mermaid leg position. Now, if that doesn't suit your joints, feel free to come stacked or into cross leg. You might notice how your hip behind you is maybe lifted a little bit off of the floor. That's where you might like to pop your head block there just to support you, but that's optional. You don't have to have that there. So setting yourself up, if you can, into this position here. We're going to come back to our rotation. So we're going to rotate and look to the left and then the right. Allow yourself just to gently, gently nudge with this. One of the biggest mistakes we make in our rotation is feeling like we've got to go really, really far. What happens if we go so far and we just start arching and compensating? I want you to think about just nudging into that twist. Exhale, twist. Inhale, hold. Exhale, twist. Inhale, hold. Lovely. One more time, just as you are. Imagine you're gently wringing out your mid back, releasing any tension and stiffness. Now, I'm going to land my hand down next to my leading knee. So, my left leg is my leading knee, so I'm going to take my left hand down to the floor. I'm going to take the right hand up towards the sky, and then I'm going to close to reach down towards my fingers and then open, just like I did leaning onto my elbow, but I'm bringing in this little bit of fold, a little bit of flexion. Again, getting more movement, more into the mid and lower back with this, and also coupling it with that hip stretch, being either in cross leg or mermaid leg. Two more here. Breath in at the top, exhale down. Make this next one your last one, breath in and back down. Okay, I want to step your hands either side of your knee. It's so fine if your hands are on your legs, they don't quite make it to the floor. And then from here, I want you to tuck the chin, I want you to roll down and bow towards your knee. Now for some of you, you might feel like you want to stretch out, and that's absolutely fine. For some of you, just holding this position is gonna feel like a little bit of a stretch here. If you can, either hands onto the leg, either side, or allow yourself to bow down for a nice opener into the hip. Two more breath cycles here. Allow yourself to fold over that leading leg. When you're ready, walk yourself back up again. And we're going to allow our legs to sweep the other way. So, bring them through the centre. If you want to have a little brief roll here in the middle, that's absolutely fine. And then I want to sweep those legs around to the opposite side. So, I've settled my leading shin along the front of my mat. My training shin is pointing behind me on the mat here. So I'm going to start by setting those hips up. Of course, you've got that block there in place to settle into the hips. I want to start with your rotation. So twist towards one knee and then the other knee. Again, this is the bit where we, we don't try too hard. We just allow ourselves to smooth into that movement. Gently rotating. Just gently bringing circulation and movement and a light stretch into that mid back. Fantastic. Okay, can we land our hand down next to our leading arm? Top arm goes up, we're on this diagonal line. So we're going to close the heart, close the hands towards each other, breath in, and then all the way back up. That's it. Down and up. We're actually going to switch that breath. 
breath now. So exhale as you come down. Inhale as you go up. So we're using that breath to mobilize those ribs and that mid back. Keeping my pelvis as settled as I can, making the movement come from my mid and upper back. Only letting my arms float up as high as my neck and shoulders feel okay about. Can we do two more here? Continuing to bring that lovely flowing, soft movement into the body. Exhale down, inhale up. Now I'm going to land that hand either side of my knee now. I'm going to fold myself forward. So it might be hands onto leg, hands onto the floor. You might like to fold over here, having a stretch out. Go with whichever range feels best for you, but I want you to allow yourself to kind of really sink into that position there. And even if it's resting onto your hands and letting yourself fold over your leg here, allowing the hips to have that slight moment of openness and stretch. If you are doing this in cross leg or straight leg, you just do it to the side, allowing yourself to have that little bit of release. So just pausing again and settling the breath. When you're ready, walking yourself back up again. Okay, we're going to come down onto our elbow nose. And now stacking up on our knees. Nice and lifted out the hips, arms go up nice and high. Now reach under and open. So this should feel more energizing into the core and into the muscles at the side of the tummy. And it might even feel a little bit more um, kind of active in the supporting shoulder. If you're not sure, you're not really feeling it, I want you to make sure you're pushing out of that elbow, lifting into the shoulder here. So we reach around and then we reach up. A little bit stronger with that movement. So if you are feeling a little bit more anxious or manic or busy in your head, try and focus on rather than forcing into the end of the movement, allow yourself to bow, almost like you're working with the movement to settle your rhythm down. Maybe go slower than I'm going. Lovely, last one, down we go. And then reaching back up again. Perfect, okay, let's come and rest on our side. If you haven't already, bring your head block with you. Come rest yourself onto the side and resting your arms out in front of you. Stacking those hips and knees, you might notice that slide happening a bit more now that we're on our sides. So try and keep the knees and the pelvis nice and still. Hands on top of each other. Now slide the hand to the heart. Allow yourself to roll, rotate. Hold your flat breath in and return. And again, turn the hand to the heart. Lift the collarbones, leave the movement keeping the knees on the pelvis still, and then return. So allow yourself to settle the breath. Feel the body waking up. Feel this twisting action, ringing out that feeling that you first noticed in your body. Either soothing and calming any anxiety or rushing sensation in your body, also waking up a stiff and sleepy body. One more of these, making this next one your last one. Now if you want to, you can add in a reach if you wanted to. But we're going to let ourselves rest down from here. I'm going to need to come and roll over onto your back. Like I said, this is just a mini express workout. So we're going to come and roll onto our back. Setting ourselves onto the mat just like we did at the beginning. Now checking in with yourself. What are you noticing now? Have you nudged the scales? Can you feel how in just this really short period of time we have shifted that sense in your body? opened up your spine, stimulated your nervous system, stimulated your digestion. In your own time, take the knees in towards you, gently hugging the knees in towards the chest and then back out. Rolling the hips off the floor and back down, feeling some length through the lower back, 
and then release. Again, exhale as you bring the knees in, inhale out. Relaxing the jaw and the shoulders, softening the back. On your last one, bring the knees in. Curl through the body, take hold of the ankles, the heels, bring in the head towards the body. Engage through the core, make this active. You can hold on to the back of the knees or leave the head lift out of it if it feels better for you, but make this energized. And then as you exhale, slide one leg at a time down the mat. Curl your arms out onto the floor, let the legs release. Show your body all that has changed. Allowing yourself just to rest here for a little while longer. If you've got longer, you might like to repeat this through again, or we'll just take an extra few minutes just to stay in this place, allowing the breath to run up the body and then back down the body, feeling the scales tip to the side. 